hates me. I'm bad. All right, so I'm guided to do a spiritual journey reading. Um, I've been waiting for the old style. Um, I can't even talk. The old style Lenormand deck to come, and it finally came today. So I'm gonna use it. Um, this is my first time doing this kind of um, spiritual journey reading. Um, this was planned, so I'm going to start with the Handle Tarot, and then um, clarify that with the Bianco Nero Tarot, and then get some messages from the Angels and Ancestors deck, and then um, use the Old Style Normand deck. Okay, that's the plan. Um, we'll see how it goes. This is my first time doing this type of reading. Um, so I don't really know how it's going to go. I hope it'll go well. Otherwise, um, I guess we're going to find out. So let me start with the, um, put this away. All right. Kindle Tarot with, uh, let me do five shuffles. Failure with eight of cups. Eight of Pentacles with knowledge. The Hierophant. Queen of Swords, Mother of Swords in the South. You saw that again, failure, eight of cups. So that showed up twice. So think about that, eight of cups. The hangman. Okay, all right, let's go back into, um, you know what, let's do, um, let's do three cards and see what happens, all right? So card number one. I used to just saw that this thing is really strong. This deck is really strong. Oh, okay. All right. I just need one card, please. Thank you. Just one card. There we go. Ooh, five of cups with disappointment. All right. Second card. Conflict with five of ones. Much better. Third card. Queen of Wands. Oh my god. Wow. She's here, y'all. She's here. Okay. Queen of Wands. All right. Um, bottom of the deck is eight of wands. Oh, wow. Okay. Eight of Wands. So very quick communication and action. Three of Swords. Morning. The Lovers. Wow, the Lovers. Okay, I have to include that. I have to because it's the Lovers. I mean, when you see that card, especially in this deck, yeah, that means something. And it's big. All right, let me put this away. Okay, let me clarify that with um, the Bianco Nero Tarot. So let me do uh, five shuffles for that. Okay. Four cups. Ace of Swords. Three cups. King of Pentacles. The Tower. Yeah, this one is really strong too. So basically the energy right now, it's really strong because these decks just want to fly out. Okay. Let me do one more shuffle just to see what comes up. 
Yeah, Six of Swords. Okay. Clarify the Five of Cups, please. Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Wands, please. Page of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please. Wow. Okay, two cards came out. To clarify the Queen of Wands. Look what came up. Three of Cups. And then... The Knight of Wands. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. All right. And then clarify the lovers, please. Okay, that came up again. Six of Swords. So, Six of Swords came up twice. So, think about that. That means something. All right, bottom of the deck is King of Cups. Oh my God, King of Cups. Okay, I have to, I have to, you have to stay. Because I've been looking for the King of Cups today and then now he's here. Page of Cups, yep, under right under him. And King of Swords right on the other side. Okay, he, he can stay too because, <laughs> so you have two kings here. They showed up. Oh my God, and the King of Pentacles, right behind the King of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles, right behind the King of Pentacles. Wow, okay, um, I'm gonna just stop here before, yeah. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the King and Queen of Pentacles right here. And I'm gonna pull them up to show you that yeah, they exist. Wow. Okay. Let me uh let me get let me get one card for the spiritual journey. All right, let me do four shuffles for the emperor. Look at that. It's like hang on. They're like moving like crazy. Hang on. The lovers especially is like being moved. There we go. One card for a message, and that's for basically everyone. Okay. Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. Bottom of the deck is Shaman. Trust in higher forces. Yes. <laughs> All right, let me put this away. All right, um, that's the message. Um... I don't even know where to put that. Let me see. All right, let me put it here. And then um, let me get the old style Lenormand. Let me get three of them. All right, so let me do um, three shuffles. They're really small. I mean, I've already shuffled them and everything, but I'm being called to show them three times, so I'm gonna do that, right? Okay. All right. First card. You have crossroads. Second card. Ship and third card. Man, wow. I have no idea what that means, but we're going to find out what that means. All right. Bottom of the deck is 
snake. Yep, so watch out for that because somebody's being a snake, somebody's being fake. So just be very careful with that. All right, let me put this away. Okay. All right, um, let me pull up the cards that came up. Okay, starting with Five of Cups from the Hindle Tarot. Five of Wands. Queen of Wands. The Lovers. Okay, that's from the Hindle Tarot. And um, to clarify that, let me show you what came up. Four Pentacles. This is the Bianco Nero Tarot. Page of Wands. And then two came out. So the Knight of Wands. And the Three of Cups together. So this is this is what they look like together. Right? And then uh four wait yeah, six of swords came out. And then the King Cups came out. Right behind him is the King of Swords. <laughs> and the counterparts, the King of Pentacles came out. And right behind him is the Queen of Pentacles. Yep, they came out together as a pair. So let me show you. They came like this. See? It's a pair. There. All right. And then, um, this is the card that came out, Earth Mother. Feel loved and comforted. That's for the message. And these are the Lenormand cards that came out. Crossroads. Ship. And man. Okay. All right. All right, let me clarify these real quick. Um, all right, so five of cups with uh, four of pentacles. So meaning is that because of that disappointment, the five, five of cups, um, you held back. And that's why the four of pentacles came out. You held back. So that experience, that disappointing experience, that loss, that regret, made you hold back a little bit. And that's what the Four of Cups, sorry. That's what the Four of Pentacles is about, holding back. All right, so that experience caused you to hold back a little bit to protect yourself. And then um, conflict came out, the Five of Wands, and then the page of ones came out. So the page is um, a child that that can be in a, a, a fire sign, a male, a, a male, child, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, if it's not the case, it could just be someone that's excited about something. So even though this five of ones caused conflict. There was still a part of you that was excited about something. Um, you could have been excited about the outcome of that conflict. So there was something about that conflict, as hard as it was, and as messy as it was, and as much as you wanted that to be just over, a part of you was excited about the outcome. And a part of you was hoping that maybe something good will come out of this. And that could have been the part that you were excited about. Something good could come out of that conflict. And then um, Queen of Wands came out, Mother of Wands in the East. So um, that came out. 
And that was clarified by the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is, yeah, she's very passionate. And her match is the King of Wands. And we know that the Emperor wants her. He's very attracted to her. So knowing that, um, because the Three of Cups came out, you can also be friends with someone like her. Yeah. Because you know what? She also wants the same thing. She wants to be friends with you. So even though like she may seem intimidating, she may be flirtatious, she may get a lot of attention, she may be passionate, she may be the kind of person that you can hate. But in the end, she also wants to be friends like you. So yes, do that. Be friends with her. And you're going to get to know her. And you're going to realize that, yeah, she's just like you. She's She has flaws and fears and desires and issues just like you. But you have to get to know her to be able to see that, okay? So yeah, be friends with her. And you will get to know her a little bit better. And... The Knight of Wands came out, so we know that the Knight of Wands is uh, the precursor to the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is the match of the Queen of Wands. So basically, the Knight of Wands is pre-King of Wands, and the King of Wands is pre-Emperor. So this could be like the child of the Queen and King of Wands. Or this can also be what the emperor used to be, a knight of wands, very impulsive, but also very fast because this is the this is the fastest knight in the deck, but also very impulsive. That's what I'm getting. And the lovers came out, so I had to I had to take it out, and that was clarified by the six of swords. So what I'm getting is that. Um, It may feel like, you know, you have a connection with this person. It may feel like you're destined to be with this person. You may very well be lovers, meaning that could be your twin flame. That could be your soulmate. That could be someone that you want to be with. But if that person is bringing you nothing but conflict and pain and drama and, you know, negativity... You're going to have to move on so that you can get away from that. So you're going to have to make a choice. And that's what the lovers is. And it's um, it's a card for Gemini. And the lovers is about choice too. It's not just about relationships. It's also about choice. So you're going to have to make a choice. If you're not happy where you're at, and it doesn't matter who you're with, it doesn't matter who that person is. But... If you're not happy where you're at, if you're not receiving what you're giving, you're going to have to make the choice to move on without this person because you're doing it for you and no one else. So if you have to move on by yourself in order to get some peace and clarity and to get yourself back and get back on track, then do that. Make the choice to move on. Whether or not you want to, and whether or not that person is a part of it, okay? So, someone's going to have to move on, and um, if that has to be you, then so be it. And the King Cups showed up. That is the, uh, yeah, that's the pre-emperor. And the King of Swords showed up as well. That is also the pre-emperor. And we have a pair the Queen and King of Pentacles. Um, she's the pre-empress, and he's also the pre-emperor. And yeah, they're matches. The Queen and King of Pentacles are matches. So the Queen of Pentacles is pre-empress, and the King of Pentacles is pre-emperor. And then um, the Earth Mother came out. Yeah, so this is, I'm seeing... Oh, and she's pregnant. 
Yeah, I'm seeing an empress. Yep. So, yeah, she could be the queen of pentacles. She's very abundant. She works hard. She knows how to make things happen. So the earth mother is also the empress. The divine feminine. And, you know, she wants to be, she wants to feel loved and comforted. And so do you. You need to feel loved and you need to be comforted. And if you're not getting those, yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to make that choice. And um, the, the Lenormand cards that came out is um, Crossroads. So yeah, um, one of you could be at a crossroads as to what to do. If that crossroad is whether or not to stay or to go, if you feel like you need to stay because things are going to get better, then stay. If you feel like you have to move on because it's just not working out or you're not getting what you want and you're not happy, then it's time to move on. All right? And then ship is basically, um, you could be waiting for progress. You could be waiting for your ship to come in. You could be waiting for your ship to sail. This can also be a relationship. Whatever it is, you know what it is. So like I said, you need to make a choice. Um, if there's progress, and if you feel the need to stay, stay. If you feel the need to move on, move on, okay? Um, you don't have to wait. You can also make a choice. And you can make some type of movement if you don't want to wait anymore. And the third card has to do with a man. So we have a couple of men that showed up here in this reading. We have the um, Four of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We also have um, the King of Cups. We have the Lovers. The Divine Masculine is here. Um, <laughs> whoever uh, the, the Queen of Wands is doing, that's... A male. <laughs> um, her match is the King of Wands, so that could be him. Um, it could be the King of Swords. His match is the Queen of Swords. Just like the match of the King of Cups is the Queen of Cups. And then we have matches here. We have the Queen and King of Pentacles. So the male is the King of Pentacles. And yeah. Or it could be the emperor. That's a male who happens to be the empress's match. All right. So whoever this person is, you know who it is and make that choice from there. So basically, I do what's best for you. All right. So that's what I'm getting. Um, this is a spiritual journey reading. And I think, yeah, I think I covered what I was supposed to cover. And so far, it went really well. So I'm going to do this again. And um, I hope I helped you in some way. And I will talk to you again soon.